Being able to craft items in Roblox SCP-3008 would be an absolute game changer. If crafting were ever added, we would all be graced with pretty much the best feature the game has ever seen. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the idea of crafting, if it were added, what would come with it, if it would be useful, yada yada yada, all that stuff that people argue whenever something is brought up to be added to the game. Now for those who need an intro, howdy, Raid here, welcome back to an all new Roblox SCP. 3008 video. Now, as you guys know, there have been countless updates in Roblox SCP-3008. And let's be real, us Roblox SCP-3008 players, we haven't gotten that much of a game-changing update in a while. Waypoints, the timer, that type of stuff, that is pretty game-changing, you know, especially with the King April Fools update. But as you guys know, usually in most updates, it's all just furniture. We get new furniture, we get new plushies, we get some food, and all of that is pretty awesome, but think about it, is that really all you guys want? What if we were to get an update that was just so game changing that it revamped what people did in SCP-3008? And of course, by that update, we're talking about crafting. Crafting would just be a feature that would totally change everything. But when there are discussions about crafting added to 3008, a lot of people say, wait, like Minecraft crafting? Is that what you're trying to say? And no, that's not what everybody's trying to say. Roblox SCP-3008 crafting can be its own idea. One idea is that a new plot could be added that could be something like a tool shop or like a mini Home Depot plot. Basically, a normal Roblox SCP-3008 plot, but it would kind of have like a crafting bench or like a little workshop, maybe like a little helmet for players to find and a ton of wood pallets. And for those who might think, that won't fit in an Ikea, you said Home Depot, but no, think about it, we already have construction parts. If we already have a forklift plot, why not have a plot exactly like that, just a different version with a workshop? In real life Ikeas, workers are always working on new displays, if you guys have ever been to to an Ikea, sometimes you'll notice that there are big curtains and the workers are working on furniture. You know, sadly, the furniture doesn't build itself, the workers have to make it look good for the display. But basically, this workshop plot that I'm talking about could basically have one or maybe two workshop benches. These workshop benches would basically serve as crafting tables. Players would have to find the plot, go to it, and basically craft whatever they need. Maybe these benches could be permanently anchored down so people can't pick them up and take them to their base. This would add suspense to the game, because the fact that you need to travel to craft stuff would add a lot more suspense to the game. Let's say you need to craft something, you run out of your base and it turns night. You quickly go to the bench, you craft whatever you need, and then you try to run back home and there's employees after you. It would really make the game so much more fun. Personally, I would be so much more engaged because you have so much more to do. It would keep players playing the game longer, like this would be just an enormous W for Ugly Burger himself. And for those of you who aren't really big fans of a plot, there could also be just a regular crafting table instead. This would basically be a small little table that you could find randomly in just any plot that you think of. You would be able to pick up this little crafting table, bring it back to your house, and have an actual way to craft stuff inside of your base. More players would be able to have accessibility, you know, the players that don't want to run out at night can craft whatever they need in their base. And now that we have ideas for this crafting table, we have to think of how we could get materials for it. To start things off easily, this update could have like three simple materials. There could be wood, metal, and then maybe like cloth, basically silk from beds. These materials could basically be the three core materials that'll be used for all of the crafting recipes going forward. Eventually, other stuff could get added, but these materials are like super simple items that anybody could get. You could get wood from pallets, cloth from bed, refrigerators would provide you with metal. It would be super easy to get materials. You just walk up to a piece of furniture, let's say a pallet, and then press a specific button. I don't know which button, just some button that's not used for any menu or something. And by pressing the button when the furniture is selected, you could like salvage parts. Let's say I could salvage wood from the pallets. That would be pretty useful. Let's say you need some materials. You can get something from your base. Everything could be salvaged for parts. But from a feature like this, it could make griefing a lot worse. Hello guys, Mr. Employee here. If you got this far in the video, 
comment crafting. And leave a like and subscribe, or else I will destroy your base. Griefers could just run up to bases, press salvage, and turn your whole base into just parts. And to make that not really happen a lot, you could add a cooldown to salvaging. Maybe like a 30 second cooldown would be pretty powerful. 15 to 30 seconds of a cooldown would kind of stop people unless they're like a really, really devoted griefer. Because think about it, if you're a griefer, you probably want to spend like a minute tops trying to take out somebody's base. But if there's a cooldown of 30 seconds, you could only take two things apart in a whole minute. There could also be a feature where your bases are established as bases, like when you connect furniture together, you can't salvage it. That would totally take the griefing aspect out of this. Now, getting materials would be super simple, and getting them to your base would be even easier. You just put them in your inventory and go on your sweet way. And by now, you're all thinking, Raid, you gave us this idea of crafting, you talked about crafting benches, you talked about materials but what would we even be able to craft my friends the possibilities are endless a lot of people are gonna say weapons but that is not the most important thing we need right now there is so much different stuff that would be awesome to see new types of furniture that you can't find lying around the store would be awesome to build especially if you have to like craft or find blueprints or like instructions for the furniture basically you can use like one blueprint and then like five wood and five metal and basically make like an awesome new gaming chair or something even crafting blueprints would be a pretty cool idea but crafting like salvaged furniture especially like broken down rusty walls with spikes on them and stuff would really add to the survival feeling of the game seeing tattered down and broken stuff would make the game seem more like a survival game right now all of the shiny new furniture makes the game feel like a build to survive game when it truly at heart is a survival game since i mentioned spike walls a lot of different defenses in the game would just be awesome to see maybe if you could use some metal you can make like barbed wire which slows down players and employees the spiked walls that i mentioned could even damage players and employees there could also be retro furniture that could be crafted if you get like a specific amount of materials you could make retro maybe even futuristic furniture it would be cool to see like old school fallout, you know, 50s, 60s furniture, but then you could also craft like a cyberpunk RGB couch that would just be so hilarious. And since people want to talk about weapons, maybe you could make yourself a spear. I'm not going to get too much into weapons. It's such a controversial issue. Somebody always ends up crying. But also, I want to know what you guys would craft. Tell me in the comments below what we need in an update like this.